how are you? Welcome to my channel. My name is Ruth and today we're doing Ticka Penny. Yay. Love it. Love it. Can't wait. This was created by the wonderful Emily from Emily and Max. Please go check her out. I'll have her linked down below and she'll give you all the how to's and whatnots. I'm sure at this stage you know how this works. I'm not going to go through it all because we'll be here all day and all night. But just know it's great fun and I love it. Love playing it. Love watching it. Love everything about it. So. If you hear a little snoring, little pudding over here, have a little snore fest. Uh, he is with us 14 years today. I say with us because I can't say he's 14 years old because I don't know exactly his birth date because he was a rescue pup. But he was a pup when we got him. He's so cute. And he's still so cute. Um, but yeah. So, July update. What did we roll in? Well, we had a very eventful start to it. <laughs> we had the Ace of Diamonds straight out of the gap. Straight in, and it was a pick up too. Look, I didn't mind. I haven't got many projects going on at the moment, so it was nice to have something to rotate in and play with. So, you know, all good. So, first up, we had uh, the Ace of Diamonds, like I said, which is pick up too. So, Seven of, of Spades was a cool toned item, and I brought in the Gloss Gods Shadow. Uh, I don't know what it's called because I removed it from the palette. I do that and I don't do the whole write the names in the back of the shadows. I'm just not that organized. Sorry. Um, but yeah, I had it in for seven uses. I've used it four times, so I have three more uses to go. So this little guy is staying in. I give you a little swatch. Lovely. I love the formula of the mats. Very velvety to the touch. I do like it. Uh, did she leave a cloth out? She did. Well, look at who's organized. <laughs> My word. So yeah, so that's staying in. I have it on today on the kind of outer corners of my eyes. Next up was the Six of Spades, and that was Threes a Crowd. And you could pick um, a trio palette kind of thing, or three items that kind of go together that you like to use together, etc., etc., or three of the same item. You know, there was a lot of ways to uh, take it in. And these are what I chose. So I chose a lipstick from Colourpop in the shade Oasis. I do have these on today, apart from the lip gloss. Gorgeous shade, but. Mm, starting to change, guys. Look at it. This was decluttered to me from someone else. So this. This is a grand old age, I would imagine. But it is the vanilla scent that used to be on it is starting to go. So I need to get a bit more use out of that before it goes. If I could just get to the end of the summer outer, because it's very much a summer shade for me, I think I'd be happy with that letting it go. Um, also was the Fenty, oh, I meant to look up the shade, but I didn't. It, it's kind of a ready coral shade. Again, it's on the old peckers today. Um, but this is what it is looking. That's what it looks like. So it's kind of an orangey kind of curly shade. I like it. I like this formula. It's it's like the Maybelline Vinyl Ink a little bit, but a bit more comfortable, I feel, on the lips. So it kind of leaves you with a stain, but the gloss kind of hangs around without um, staining things like drinking and stuff. I don't know. It's a nice formula. I like it. I like the colour. I like the formula. Not enough to buy more of them, because one, I don't need them. And two, I don't need them. And the final one of the trio was this Elf uh, Glow Reviver Lip Oil. Yeah, and um, I like this, but I feel like I should let you know that it has a minty scent. Because according to Rita from Tenerite Lipstick, nobody has been telling people that it has a minty scent. Now, you think there's a bit of colour to it. There isn't really, you know. That's just, I don't know, food dye? Who knows? Maybe it's in the bottle. Um, but yeah. I've used them all. I'd use each of them six times and I did. They generally got used together. This one got used more frequently to be fair because it was just easier to use. Um, but yes, it has a minty scent. So if you don't like minty scents or tastes or whatever, not for you. Um, so that's that one. Next up was the Five of Spades and it was an impulse purchase. And I brought in this Wicon Cherry Cheeks Cream Blush. I picked it up on impulse when I was in Italy earlier in the year. So it looks like it is gorgeous. I actually love it. So it was a happy impulse. It goes kind of well with that lipstick. Do you know, it just looked very pretty. I do like it. Mm. Yep, was not hard to use. I had to use it five times. So easy to use it. Was just, yeah, love it. I love to have stuff that I love. 
yesterday I thought of this line. Uh, next up was the Queen of Spades. There was a lot of spades and I swore blind that I really shuffled that back, which there you go. Uh, and it was pick your space. So I chose two of spades and that was eyeshadow. And for that, I brought in my Natasha Dillon, Natasha de Denona, <laughs> uh, mini Zendo palette. And I had to use each shade twice. And I did. Today being that second time. It is on the eyelids today. Um, I love this palette. I'm still thrown by that silver. I don't get it. I just don't get it. But I do love that shade in particular. Mm. That's the kind of warm tone I enjoy. Kind of an orangey shade i don't enjoy really deep warm tones i suppose maybe is that what they are i don't know that in particular i love where's my finger gone i don't know <laughs> i love this shade and this shade i like this shade this shade is fine don't know what to do with this shade but gold mat yay and on to the next one, we have the Five of Diamonds, and that was a splurge item. And this was a splurge for me because I don't use powder foundations. And this is one of the more expensive powder foundations you can buy. But everyone talks about it so highly, and I really wanted to try it. <laughs> Words, I've been very ill <laughs> and uh, sleep deprived. So, hence words, look at their always heart. Why, do you know, sure for Everyone knows the words are hard for you. Uh, this is the Bare Minerals uh, Original uh, Loose Powder Foundation in Fair Ivory O2. Um, and I kind of use it over something like this, the e.l.f. Halo Glow. Just to give a little bit more coverage to tamp down the uh, all glow that um, reads sweat that uh, summer tends to bring out in me. And um, yeah, I really enjoy it for that. I kind of really hone in on the t-zone with it just to and even still like the shine is the shine is strong i had that in for five uses and i have met my five uses i'm very happy we're nearly there guys <laughs> it could do hurt. uh next up was the nine of clubs and it was a wish list dupe and this is the ps pro instant bronzing drops um and they're supposed to be like a dupe of the uh drunk elephant bronzy drops i think they were called i'm actually really enjoying them so i had this before they brought this out before and it was a bit orange and they took it off the market and they seem to have reformulated it because this one now maybe as well they brought out two shades this is light medium so there must be like a medium dark as well maybe the medium dark is a bit oranger i don't know but this one i just really enjoy the shade of it um and it gives a lovely glow to the skin as well oh god that was a lot oopsies that's a lot now. I just, yeah. Look, sometimes it happens. Sometimes, you know, things come out faster than they want to. That's what she said. Um, let's give it a little. So it, it does have a tannish quality to it and it does have a lovely glow to it. And I already use kind of something like this at night. Um, this is the Saint Tropez uh, Bronzy Mortar Face Mist to give me a little bit of, of a colour. And then with that on top, sure off you go, happy days. Uh, I had this in for nine uses and I have used it five times. So I have four more uses to go. So that little lot is staying in. So we have two staying in so far. Is that all? That is, <laughs> go me, didn't even realise. Um, last item was the seven of hearts and it was copycat and i copied gabriella francis because she is working on a kiko bronzer while this isn't the exact same one it is a kiko bronzer so i said it was close enough this is the gold reflections sun kissed baked bronzer in o2 sienna i loved this packaging oh i couldn't resist it guys it was just too beautiful probably pricier than i should have paid for something like this but look i don't care i bought it on holidays and it was part of my treat to myself all year with my no-buy. So I'm fine with it. Don't know if you can see it. It's right there. It's a lovely shade. Um, I thought it would be darker. I thought I got a darker shade, but obviously not. But that's okay. I don't mind. I still think it's beautiful. And I love that it's a big, chunky one. Because I, in the summertime specifically, I love to get a big, fluffy brush. And just 
lash it on guys lash it on um whereas in the winter time i'm a bit more precise especially on the feet love it had it in for seven uses flew through the uses because i love it so those are the items i have worked on so as i said i've only got two that are staying in this deep bronzy uh oh, deep bronzy dupe uh, for four more uses and this eyeshadow for three more uses so very excited here are my deck of cards here are my two jokers so i'm going to put one down i'm going to stick one in the middle and we're going to give a little shuffle every day i'm shuffling oh, i can hardly get a uh, copyright for that line. I don't think you could even recognize the tune, could you? <laughs> uh, what have we got? Primer, easy, wishlist dupe, easy peasy lemon squeezy, out of control category. <laughs> that would be everything. Collecting cobwebs. Oh, the shame. <laughs> I love that. Um, affordable impulse, favorite category. There's loads. There's loads. Baby gold. Oh, like that. Okay. I think we're ready to go, guys. Oh, wish me luck. Let's go. Jack. Okay, face card. Go back to the face cards. This is the Jack of Hearts. And in the picture, we can't really see these pictures, to be fair. It is Galway City. If you're visiting a city in Ireland, it is probably the only one I'd bother going to. Very tourist-orientated city. Caters for, you know traditional Irish things. Uh, the rest of the cities in Ireland aren't so great. You're looking for villages and towns. If you're coming to Ireland, villages and towns are where it's at. You will find the most beautiful cultural villages and towns. Uh, but as far as cities, Galway is probably the best. I did live there for a long time. Um, but yeah. So that's not what we're here for, Ruth. You are not actually the tourist board for Ireland. <laughs> um, Cream or liquid product? Fair, yeah. Okay, how many am I doing? Three, okay, let's go. Point out on that face card, but it is a picker's face. Okay, not so angry. So it is the queen of hearts, so I can pick anything in the hearts row. We have primer, this time last year, highlight, wild card, astrology sign, eyeshadow, warm tone. Oh, the shame. How can I not resist that? And concealer, okay. I shall not choose just yet. We'll, I'll let you know. I'll let you know. And last but not least, another picture card. Uh, Ace. <laughs> oh, did it again, guys. Did it again. Pick up feckin' two. And another feckin' Galway card. No wonder. This is haunting me. Oy vey. So... I have to pick up another one to replace that card, isn't it? And then two more on top of that, I think. Who cares? It's a bit of fun. Three of clubs. Ackle, County Mayo. Where, um... Oh, what was it? Oh, the one with Colin Farrell and Brendan Gleeson was filmed there. It was the big one about two years ago. Can't remember. It's not in the finish for you. I don't know. Uh, but that's where it was, a lot of it was filmed. Ackle and County Mayo. Uh, three of clubs. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Well, thank you very much. I can need that, don't I? Oh, two more. Let's go. Six of hearts. Astrology sign. I'm not a big fan of astrology. I'm just not into it. I just don't get it. I know I'm an Aquarius. It's all I know. Moons, risings. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. But we look, we'll look it up and we we'll see if we can find. Last card. Come on now. Come on now. I was good. I didn't say a word. There's no fear I get like two get out of jail free cards. No, no, no. We get a pick up two with a joker. <laughs> that if we didn't know he's in it for the long haul. <laughs> okay then. Let's go. Take out some items. 
<laughs> I should be back shortly, guys. Oh. <laughs> and I'm back. <laughs> okay, we have chosen some products. Let us see how we get on. <laughs> mm. So, hmm. first off, Jack of Hearts. And it was Creamer Liquid product. And I have chosen the Elf um, Potty Luminous Blush in the shade St. Bart's, I believe. And this is it here. So it's a bit of a subtle shade, but I think it'd be pretty for this time of year. And I have it in for 11 years because I consider the Jack to be 11. The way I do it is uh, obviously the number cards 8 up to 10 is 1 to 10. And then Jack 11, Queen 12, King 13. Yeah. Isn't that right? Yeah. Um, so first guy in. Next up was Queen of Hearts, which was Pick Your Space. And we went for Oh the Sheen. And I chose uh, the Laura Geller um, Baked Gelatus Swirl Illuminator in Diamond Dust, which uh, Rita very kindly decluttered to me. And that is not even touched. Look at it. It's beautiful. It looks very white and icy there, but it has the most beautiful shift you can't it doesn't snap doesn't do it justice shifty gorgeousness that's just beautiful can you see can you see it it's oh there we go look at the pink oh yeah i like that she likes that's all she does um so i haven't used it yet and it is going to come in for nine uses because it was the oh the shame is the number nine so that guy is coming in uh three of clubs Easy peasy lemon squeezy, thank God, because she needs it now. And I chose another uh, declutter from uh, Rita from 10 Red Lipsticks. And again, hasn't barely been touched and it's just beautiful. This is the KVD um, Planet Fanatic Fully Recyclable, Recyclable, Recyclable? Wet Dry Palette. There we go. This is what it looks like. It's very, very pretty. It's something I kind of admired, but was kind of like, nah, I wouldn't be bothered, do you know? And um, I hadn't, I had the shade and light palette and I did enjoy that, but I hadn't enjoyed anything else I'd had from KVD over the years. And the price wasn't right, et cetera, et cetera. There was reasons. And when she had it in her declutter palette, I went, oh, go on then. <sighs> lads, lads. Like mat mats, mats are like where I'm at. They're stunning. They're just so soft. And I mean, sh the shimmers are just, oh, stop it. Stop it. No, I said stop it. <laughs> um, they just, oh God, the other ones are kind of, they weren't great shades to be showing you what the mats are like, but they just feel stunning. Just, I'm really looking forward to playing with them. So it's an easy piece of lemon squeezy. So I just need to use it three times. Not every shade three times. Not, you know, just create three different looks with this palette. Thrilled. Really looking forward to that. Uh, next up was Astrology Sign. And I am Aquarius, as I said. And looking up, Amethyst is one of the kind of colours. And I would consider that to be purple, shall we say. So this is the Sephora 12 Hour uh, Colourful Crayon or contour eye pencil in the shade Purple Illusion, and it is matte, and there it is there. So that is coming in for six uses. And then last, but by no means least, we had the Joker. Uh -huh. In it for the long haul. And well, no, there is a, um, there's a prompt call in it for the long haul, but the Joker is, are you joking me? Oh my God, I have to freaking finish this. So this is what I'm bringing in. I don't know how much is left in it. I've held it up to the light. I'm confused. It is the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip in Orchid. And the goal is to finish it before the year is out. And this is the shade here, which is a very, very easy to use shade, I feel. I enjoy the formula. It's not my favourite. It's a bit thick. I have to kind of really use my finger to rub it in a bit. I just, I don't know. But once I do that, it is pretty on. So in she comes. We're going to try and finish it. Whether we will or not, I don't know. Because I have lip products in my main project pan to finish. But we'll get good all use in it, guys. Or it could be finished tomorrow. Because I don't know how much is left in it. So. That was an eventful one. What's new there? 
that just seems to be the way my <laughs> this project is going for me. And you know what? Like I said, if I was the root of young years gone by where I was doing about 30 different projects at once, I'd probably feel really kind of like, oh my God, I can't cope, I'm overwhelmed. But because this is my only prompt based project, it's all good now, guys. It's all good. I'm happy. <laughs> and look, doesn't it make for a fun video? <laughs> That's it, guys. Really hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully I'll chat to you in the next one. Maybe it might be a little calmer. Who am I kidding? Of course not. I've turned to the fate now, you know. But uh, chat to you in the next one. Take care. Bye. Slot.